Shut the fuck up. What's going on, everyone? My name is Potato. We got a dual calm today. We got Psycho motherfucking Snorlax up in the hizo, along with your boy Potato, and it's been a while since we've done one of these videos. Uh, I'm not even going to say anything about that because it's just going to be excuses. So uh, what are we going to be talking about today, Alex? Well, you know, we're really going to be talking about Black Ops, and a lot of people are going to be like, well, of course you're talking about Black Ops 2. Why wouldn't you be talking about Black Ops 2? The last video you guys did was talking about Black Ops 2, if I remember Back correctly. Back in December. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Um, today we're talking about the pros and cons of Black Ops 2 at first. Oh, and this topic was suggested to us by your boy Adam Jones. Adam, however you pronounce that, you know. I would just call him um, Adam. Yeah, I, I know, I'm just fucking around, so, uh, <laughs> he, he suggested this comment, so shout out to Adam. So, and... so, here, I'll just read the comment, and, um, I'll put it in, um, the, the, everything, <coughs> I don't know. Um, so, the, it says, some of the pros and cons of Black Ops 2, what would you like to see carried into Ghosts? How the changeover to the next generation of consoles is going to work out? I don't know how he wants to do that. He said he thinks in July onwards, people are looking forward to releases. And, uh, it's true. I'm looking to forward to future releases. Like, I mean, to go off topic already, future releases that are coming out for the Xbox and PC is, uh, Dark. Looks awesome. Just letting you dark. guys know. Just letting you guys know. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's like Infamous. What is dark? It's like Infamous. Oh, okay. I don't play that. But it's, uh, it's, uh, it's like, um, you're a vampire. It's really cool. I am. Let's playing it on my channel if you want to go check it out. Link's in the description. Oh, I think I saw you do that, but anyways, we're getting off topic here, so the pros and cons of Black Ops 2, I mean, God, our attention span is like that of a jar of mayonnaise. Well, I mean, we did spend like 40 minutes setting this up with just random <laughs> yeah, audio yeah, clips. Yeah, and talking about prostate exams. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know about that one, I wasn't here for that, but uh... Alright, so yeah, our attention span is that of a jar of mayonnaise, but we're gonna be talking uh, about the pros and cons of Black Ops 2 today, so, um, basically, in my eyes, you know... Me and Alex both, we master prestiged within the first month of Black Ops 2 being out, so... Yeah, I was first. No. Yes. Alex is a booster, so... <laughs> okay! Aside, <laughs> aside from that, um, you know, after that, Alex kind of, you know, took a break, started playing other things. I kept playing, I got everything that I possibly could in the game Diamond, so I have everything Diamond, and right now, I really don't have anything to work for, so the game for me, all the longevity to it is gone, and I think that's kind of why, uh, Treyarch and Activision, well, of course we know they're money whores and all that, but... The reason they're pushing out the microtransactions is to kind of add longevity to the game. And for the people that buy it, you're like, oh, hey, I got bacon camo. And bacon camo, man. Oh, my God. That don't even, still wanna, don't me even get me day. started on that. Yeah. So, but, all right. I'm going to Where's the red tiger no, when you Hold on. Hold on real quick. We're gone on camos. I got to stop right here. I don't mind microtransactions. I don't yeah, mind I mean, it. I, think I, cool. I have every camo on the microtransaction except for two. Party rock, because I have a penis. And I'm not a bitch. And if you have Party Rock, I'm just giving sh giving shit because I just don't like it. It's personally not my favorite thing. And bacon, I'm a fat person. I don't want to put bacon on my fucking gun. What the fuck is wrong with you? Um, <laughs> no, see, for me, like I buy them all just because it's like OCD. It's like if I don't buy this one, I'm gonna stare at it and not have it for the rest of Black Ops too. So I'm like, I gotta have this. So I gotta have them all. But why didn't they just throw in the Red Tiger, man? Blue Tiger actually looks good in this game. You know, MW2 is. I, I love camos, so I like Modern Warfare 2 camos and like the Red Tiger and Blue Tiger. So they could have easily done that in this game. We could have. I again, really wanted Poop Tiger. Let's be honest here. The Poop Tiger. Yeah, that's they fall. They need brown camo. No Remember fall. That? Fall Poop oh, Tiger. Okay. okay. Um, brown camo. But no, I mean like so the micro the microtransactions were fine with me. I didn't have a problem with them. The thing I had a problem with was. They give us microtransactions, right? And then they make them. They have us vote on an awesome, a pretty cool camos. And they give us two of them. That's another fucking microtransaction. Couldn't we have voted on the first camos? Yeah, right. I mean, it's a lot I, more camos, but, but you like, know, the microtransactions. I think they were obviously put into kind of add a little bit of longevity to the game. Which for me, the longevity lasted the first 30 minutes that I bought the camos. Yeah. And uh, the new maps, uh, Alex was actually saying this earlier, you know, he doesn't play Call of Duty as much, but when the DLC comes around, that's when he starts coming around also. Well, I mean, see, and, so uh, what happens is, like, like you said, you know, we Master Prestige so fast, like, I think I Master Prestige, like, the 21st of December, something like that, I don't have a job, I didn't have a job or anything, I didn't have school at the time, so, you know, you I Master Prestige. You have a job right now still? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, go to, I go to school full time though, so I can't really have a job yeah. at school uh, yeah. with my my schedule. But um, oh, I have a headset on. I hear I hear fire trucks. I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry about that. No. Um, so I master proceed really fast. So I kept playing, and then it got to the point where 
I didn't play with anybody. Like, there, there was no one and, to play. No, like, Black Ops 2, it, it, it's almost impossible to run solo, it feels like. I mean, yeah, definitely. You could play a couple games. I could have the best games of my life on Black Ops 2 playing by myself, and two games later, I'm ready to get off. I mean... You know, and that's the thing with the DLC coming around. It's fun to play the new maps for about a week, and then everybody gets tired of those, and they go back to the normal playlist. But I've been playing a lot of League Play, and that's our next topic. I think League Play is a great implementation into Black Ops 2, and I would love to see it return in the next Call of Duty uh, that we're so highly anticipating right now that we're going to talk shit about once it comes out and then come back to Black Ops so, with, and talk with about how League awesome it play, was. But... So I love League Play. I played League Play a lot, <laughs> right? God damn it. Um, and I love it, but the thing I don't like about it is... It's weird. I w I'm not going to say... I, I don't want to say weird. I'm going to cut you off here, but what I hate about League Play is the fact when a game starts up... Yeah, fuck me. When a game starts up in League Play and your teammates back out right as the countdown's going, and throughout the whole game, it's just say... You know, I like to run a party that, of just one guy. That's what I was talking one about. One guy. And so you're two guys down, and most of the time it's like... You know, for me on League Play, I always get hardpoint slums. It's always hardpoint fucking slums, and it's annoying. I like Especially hard when every slums. time I play... Well, I mean, when you have guys backing out almost every other game, it sucks, especially at the beginning when it's pretty much a two-on-four the whole game. And uh, you could stay, and I think it, it works like uh, if, if you stay in the game, you don't lose as many points, but if you back out, you lose a lot more. So I'm not really sure how the ranking system works or anything, but it's kind yeah, of fucked it, up. Yeah, it's, it's weird. I mean, like, I hate what I, what I hate is um, it's an ongoing, if you play League Play, you'll understand it. But I know the people that I used to play League Play with or play with regularly, there was a joke, it was plus 10 minus 150. Because no matter what, you get plus 10, but any loss, you lose 150 points. That yeah, see, I sucks. actually think how it works, and uh, I heard this from someone, it may be a load of, a load of crap, but um, it's like, the harder the people you play, the more points you get. So if you're gonna, if you lose to people that you should beat, that the game factors out that you should beat, you will lose more points than what you would if you were, you know, just if you beat them or whatever okay so i got distracted here but basically it's like you know when you lose to people that you should beat you're gonna lose more points if you beat somebody that you should beat you're not gonna get as many points it's a fucked up system how it works and stuff but say you're playing like say you're playing like uh, you got a party of two and you're playing a full team if you beat them i think that's when you should get the 150 points of the 250 if you got your daily bonus so i, I think that's how it works out but i may be wrong Alright, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please do us a huge favor by titty slapping that like button, click subscribe, do whatever you want to it, but just uh, show your support. You know, it takes it takes us a while to do these videos, edit them and all that stuff, and it takes like half a second just to leave a like and show your support. So, uh, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more from me and Alex, our channel links and Twitters are going to be linked down below, so check them out. And uh, yeah, you guys take it easy, have a safe one, and I will talk to you later. Peace!